Hello lizards, today I have cold sniff review on five candles, all are new to me. Let's just jump right into this. Um, these candles actually, um, I bought at the PX here um, in Germany on the base. Um, I very rarely shop there. Their selection is really small. It's kind of like a Target. Um, so it has everything that a Target will have and then there's small counters of like name brand makeup, name brand bags, that sort of stuff. So there is a very small um, BBW section. There's a small Yankee section. Um, and the prices are usually just not that great. Um, I can get better deals online, but I do have a couple of clients now that have jumped on the candle bandwagon with me and they notified me of um, the sale. So they were um, just under $10, $9.76. So um, I went down on a Sunday night, it was extremely picked over. And then um, my client messaged me again on Monday afternoon and said they completely restocked. So I went down again on Monday and bought other ones. So I have five of these and then four that I stocked up on total repeat scents. I'll tell you about those later. Okay, so Pumpkin Peanut Brittle. That's the name. Tongue twister there. This is not a new candle. Some of these are not new. New to me though. New to me. Never smelled this before. Um, so I love this candle. This has the same peanut note it, as in the PBJ, and it's so funny. I've got those hand, my hands on those candles for the first time like in the last 10 days. It's, it's crazy, because they're old. So it's got that like salty, savory note, and man, I don't know what it is, but I love that in a candle, like the fall farmhouse. You know, it smells like cooking meat to me, and uh, I really enjoy it. So, I don't get any pumpkin in this though. I think the pumpkin thing was like a fall marketing thing. To me, this smells just like a payday without any chocolate. So I get like a, like a nougaty, real sweet and savory. It, it almost, it's almost got that maybe salty crackery thing going on that the PB, Jade did too, but it's really, it's a really nice candle. It's, it's sweet and savory and welcoming. Let's see, crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted po um, pumpkin seeds. So yeah, it doesn't actually have that pumpkin note in it. Pumpkin seeds don't smell like anything, but gives it that kind of roasty nuttiness. So, Really excited about this. Do not think I'm gonna burn this before fall again. As you can see, it's a beautiful, uh, sunny uh, January day here in Germany. Um, next up here, again, not a new candle, Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. There's something about this that sends me to like the candy aisle, like a generic candy vibe to it. Um, kind of spicy. So, yeah, quite spicy. Uh, a medley of spices that are like in a pumpkin pie and then really, really creamy, like that marshmallow note that carries through in all of the marshmallow candles, the, you know them. Um, yeah, it's nice. Once you get past that like sweet kind of fake candy and the spice comes through, it's nice. And I, the marshmallow candles are the bomb, right? I mean, they're so good. It smells quite strong too actually for a, for a marshmallow candle. So, um, Tahitian vanilla, pumpkin spice, and homemade marshmallow drizzled caramel with essential oil. Um, yeah. So, pretty jazzed about that one. Let's see. Frozen Lake. Again, this was out, you know, this winter. Probably out before, too. So, 
This is not something that I generally gravitate to, but it's, it's quite nice. It's more on the masculine side. I definitely get a body care vibe, but not like one of those super strong cologne candles. It's in the background. And then not surprising, this has that fresh note to it that um, Winter and Mountain Ski Lodge did, even though I didn't particularly care for either of those. Yeah, this is actually quite body care. And I remember in the store, like I really was going back and forth on purchasing this because I didn't think it was gonna be strong enough. It's, it's pretty strong. You know, sometimes it can be so overwhelming when you have all those candles in front of your snoot all at once. Um, lavender leaves, cool eucalyptus, and juniper berries with essential oils. Hmm. Lavender leaves, eh? Yeah. This is actually really nice. I'm happy I picked that up. This one is totally not something that I gravitate to. Um, and actually, I think that my best friend Gideon would really like this one. You can't have it, but I will bring it to you and we will burn it in your house together when I come visit in a couple weeks. Um, I've really, really liked this. So this is um, Beach, Sage, and Mint. And it's gut. I actually don't think that I've ever had a salty ocean candle for myself, but that's what I'm getting. I don't remember these notes at all. But I get like a salty ocean vibe with some mint and some greenery. I suppose mint is greenery, but um, mm, this is just really nice. Again, kind of immediately thought it was a little soft, but it's not. It's, it's got a good, little, a good little sniff there to it. Let's see. Vibrant mint springs, coastal sage, and crisp bergamot with essential oils. So this is really nice. Um, I think this will be really, really nice for my office and would be a really nice bathroom scent too. That's like immediately where my mind takes me, you know, with this candle. Really nice. Okay, last new one here is Welcome Home. Also out um, this winter. Might have been out before. I'm really bad with the collections and when they came out and all that jazz. So this one actually smells extremely edible to me. It smells like something that you would eat. Um, I get some apple in it, which I'm like totally over apple and cinnamon. I want to say like a cookie, but maybe more of like a, like a, a pumpkin-y apple spice bread baking. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. I really like this candle. So it's got those generic fall smells, if you will, but it's not generic. It's, it, the blending is really nice. And I would like to take this opportunity to apologize to um, The Perfect Christmas. I said I wouldn't buy that candle again. That's actually a lie. Um, I would. I thought about it and I would, as a matter of fact. Um, I, this is not a pretty candle. This is Twisted Peppermint and um, The Perfect Christmas. Um, brought this with me on the trip. I'm actually traveling with candles now. It's ridiculous. You know, we're living here in Europe. We travel often and I'm now carrying candles with me so I can get some fragrance in my room <laughs> that I'm staying in. Funny. Um, so really enjoyed, again, that um, that was spy, uh, cinnamon, um, but it had marshmallow and pine in that. And that blending just really worked for me. It threw really well. So I would get that again if it came out. So that's just kind of my thing on generic scents where you, oh, I've smelled this a million times before, but, but it's still good. 
So yeah, that's um, Welcome Home. Cinnamon sugar, warm apple butter, clove buds, and brown sugar. Yeah, I really like this. Then the other candles that I got at this particular sale, um, just to stock up, just so you know, candles that I love, was um, caramel pumpkin swirl, pumpkin cupcake, fresh balsam, and spiced chestnut. I haven't done a post burn on that yet, but I really liked it, and so they had it um, there, so I grabbed another one just to have um, put aside in my collection. So that's it for cold sniff. My next video will be a post burn. I've got a couple going. Um, so that's what I'll be bringing to you next. Hope you guys catch a good sale. Ciao.